Hi everyone, this is the last one I'm going to do for today. Um, okay, Children's Book Council Book of the Year Prize for the Eve Pound Award. Now the Eve Pound Award is given to, I'm going to read this, um, entries in this category should be books which have the prime intention of documenting factual material with consideration given to imaginative presentation, interpretation and variation of style, ages 0 to 18. Now one of the books I am not going to talk about which is called Still Alive because it deals with um, an asylum seeker in a um, camp. Um, and it's it's age it's probably for more 15 year olds so I'm just going to go with the ones that we have in the library so first of all I'm going to start with this one the illustrated encyclopedia of peculiar pairs in nature by Sammy Bailey now Sammy Bailey's had a few books in this uh, in the information category the books tend to follow the same format um, and in this one in particular it's dealing with pairings in nature um, so animals that uh, symbiotic I think that's the right word um, so I'll just show you very quickly um, beautiful illustrations uh, hand drawn and then you have the um, actual report on it so you've got things like African death's head hawk moth and the western honeybee how they work together um, barnacle and the grey whale so just beautiful illustrations and a very um, whoops go that way uh, intriguing a uh, very set format so you're looking at diet habitat description and why the pair work together so well uh, it does have contents doesn't have an index and doesn't have a glossary in it um, but the pictures are quite fascinating and so are some of the facts about how these animals and plants work together uh, next one book of curious birds uh, by Jennifer Cossens um, this is another information text that just tells you about animals. Uh, so again, you've got a very straightforward format with some beautifully hand-drawn illustrations on there. Now these birds are curious birds, so they're not just set in Australia, although you do have things like the tawny frog now. Um, this does have a small glossary in the back. Uh, it does not have an index. Um, none of these books actually do, which is a little bit disappointing, I think. And next we have First Scientists. Now this book here is in every classroom in um, at our school and it looks at how the uh, First Nations people have used uh, have they use their understanding of the world to um, live and survive. So you know you talk about we talk about seasons, about harvesting, about medicines, that kind of thing. Actually, I'll show you the contents page, it's probably easier. Um, let me just find it. This actually has a website that goes with it. Um, the writer, Corey, has got that set up. So you've got the contents. So the basic is the first astronomers, the first engineers, the first forensic scientists, the first chemists, the first land managers, and the first ecologists. Um, so that's a really good one just to sit down and have a look at. Um, how science has been used to inform the way that First Nations people live. Uh, another one, uh, Heroes, Rebels and Innovators, Inspiring Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander People from History. And this one just takes um, a select group of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people and tells their story. Um, and Storybox Story Library Online does a, has a really great reading of this book and the reader um, and Storybox Library have worked with um, ATSITS, is that the right word? I can't say, the Aboriginal and um, Torres Strait Islander organisation here in Canberra to make sure that the words are pronounced correctly. So I'm not actually going to read you the names of the people um, because I don't want to do them disjustice, but have a listen to that if you can. Um, and it just tells you about heroes, innovators, and rebels. And that was one; those three words were um, three words that I concentrated on with the classes that I've taught this to, um, because we need to know what is a hero, what's a rebel, and what's an innovator, and how have these people achieved this this um, name? You know, how did Pachavaran become known as a hero or a rebel or an innovator, and why do we consider them that? So that's an interesting book to look at. And the last one, I actually spoke about this one earlier um, in the New Illustrated category. This one here is 
um, I guess almost like a diary or a talk, you know, as you walk through the forest, you know, think about it, you know, you walking through the forest as the illustrations come along and this guide's guiding you through and telling you about all the different things. So it starts at the start of the forest um, and you have um, the guide talking to you, Ben, Tyler and Diane, um, starting with like, when we go walking, we never know how long we will be, what we will hear and what we will see. We pack our bags with food and water, a billion and some matches to light a fire. There's so much language in here, so much Australian language and um, Aboriginal language to just to talk about to kids about because I think often when we live in Canberra, um, kids don't learn stuff that, you know, I, I, like I know what a billy is, but do children know what a billy is? Do, do they know what matches are? Um, so there's so many questions that can be asked and answered in the reading of this book. So if you grab that one, have a look at it. Um, that's all I have for you. Thanks for listening um, and I hope these are helpful videos. Thanks. Bye.